Okay, I think we're back. For those of you just joining us, if you haven't caught the first start of the stream, this is the 400k stream. Um, it kept dying, but now at least I have the backup file in case, you know, I, I screwed up. Okay, good. XSplit updated recently, and they changed uh, some settings around, so that's the reason why it wasn't recording, which that's a good thing. All right, well, we missed half of the story, but I'll tell you the other half now for those of the people that are in here about the uh, the iced tea and the restaurant story. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, just make sure everybody's in, 1,400 people. Yeah, we're good, we're good. All right, so uh, to recap really quick for those of you that weren't here, um, me and my mom went out to eat at this local restaurant. It's just a place. It's not a franchise. It's just a restaurant. Pretty okay food. Nothing incredible. Nothing horrible. But it's they're fairly busy. It's a fairly popular place. And it's decent food. Okay. So me and my mom walk in. It's like 4.30 in the afternoon. A little bit early for dinner. So there's really nobody in there. Um, it's just me and my mom. And then the owner who kind of pops her head out of the kitchen and sees that we're there. And so she walks out with two uh, menus. And uh, my mom... Uh, you know, I set my tea down because I bring in my iced tea, a little bottle of iced tea, and I sit that down. I'm like, all right. And then she walks over, and who's the, she's, I guess, also the waitress. And my mom is like, hey, uh, hi, because she knows the lady. And she doesn't even really pay attention to my mom. Instead, she focuses on my iced tea. She kind of does this. She's like, you can't, you can't have this in here. I'm sorry. And she was nice about it. She wasn't like, hey, you got to get this iced tea out of here. But I was a little surprised by that, because that was literally the first time ever in any restaurant. And I've, like, like I've been in franchises, like, you know, Denny's and Red Robin and, like, fast food places like McDonald's. Just a few weeks ago, we were at this relatively fancy restaurant in Pittsburgh. Not, like, super, like, you need to wear a, you need to wear a fancy, you know, suit and walk in and, like, a dress code. But it was a fairly fancy restaurant in Pittsburgh we were at. And I brought my tea in there. Nobody cared. Nobody cares. But she came up to me and she's like, you can't have this in here. I'm sorry. And so um, without missing a beat, I just immediately, without even really thinking about it, I was like, this was my exact reaction to that. Like, like verbatim what happened. She's like, you can't bring this in here. Oh, okay, let's go. And I just picked it up and just immediately walked out. And as I was walking out, I don't know why I said this. Thinking back on it now, I really wish I would have thought of something better to say. But as I opened the door to walk out, I'm like, I am a free man! And I walked out into the parking lot, and my mom walked out, and we got in the car, and we went to another place to eat. But thinking back, I'm like, man, I could have thought of something cooler to say than that. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to think back about it. I wanted to say, like, the, the, the way I was trying to get this across was, I value freedom, and that is freedom for iced tea. You know, that's, that's the general idea. But I just shouted, I am a free man! So, I don't know, she was probably a little bit confused by that. But anyway, we just walked out, and my mom was also thought, my, also, my mom thought, like, yeah, that is kind of bullshit that they just, you know, they said that. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, hey, look, I mean, it's her restaurant, she owns it. I didn't try to argue with the lady. I'm just like, look, you know, it's your restaurant. It's your policy. Fine. If you don't want us to buy a dinner here, I'll leave. See ya. And uh, bye. Because, you know, oh, great. Now this again. Uh, wait, no, wait. No, 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 no. Restart, restart, restart. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, man. This is the best 400k stream ever. Did you miss the part at the beginning where I was dancing? I did the Tetris theme. I don't know why. Oh, mighty internet gods. I beseech you. I will fight on your behalf. If you grant me your power. You know, I'm, uh... Do you ever notice the hilt of this sword uh, kind of looks like a dildo? Because I've kind of noticed that a few times. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to make that pact with the devil now for better internet. So if the devil just, like, flared up in my room right now and, like... He, like, he could be a super... Like, he could... You know, because a lot of times when the devil appears in fiction, he usually takes the appearance of, like, a regular human. And the idea is, like, oh, he's he could be anybody... You know, but 
if he were to happen to show up right now in like the crazy like legitimate demonic form that like most people use to scare children like the version i was scared the crap out of when i was a little kid you know if the devil shows up goat legs claws red skin tail wings fangs or basically like the devil from tenacious d in the pick of destiny if that dude were to show up in my room right now and just i will grant you better internet the best internet there there is however you'll have to give me your soul i'd be like i'd be signing the contract and dude i'd already be like like you know taking out like cutting up for blood to sign the contract before he even finishes the deal i'd be like here you go just give it to me <laughs> oh boy I hope you all have a really good day. Life is never easy. I hope it was for you, at least. Well, life is never easy all the time. Unless you're, like... Uh, unless you're born to this insanely wealthy family, and you literally never have your... You, you never have to worry about wanting anything. And also that family is a kind and nurturing family as well. I guess in that situation, life is pretty chill. But, you know, even if life is chill every now and then... Yeah. Aren't you an atheist? Yeah, I am an atheist. But if, if the devil were to appear right now and be like, oh, I guess the devil does exist, which extension means probably hell exists. It's like, even with those circumstances, I would still sign the contract because I really want good internet. <laughs> the best internet ever. One billion megabytes per second. <laughs> That's like something out of like, uh, you know, like the deal is too good, so the internet's too good. I'll never be able to, to, to like convey my thoughts because the internet's just too good. Uh, finally realizing the importance of Boa Hancock. Yeah, I decided we have to start up upping our thumbnail game. You know, so uh, we have... Uh, let me just pull these up here really quick. We, we had Robin, if you guys remember, for our 300k substream. We had Robin... And for our 400k sub stream, we have the lovely Boa Hancock. So, I think you guys can notice a theme here. Can you see the theme, what I'm going with? Yes, the theme is I love to put sunset tropical backgrounds in the uh, thumbnails. Uh, there's also Nami's as well. I don't know where I put Nami's. Hold on, let me try to find Nami's really quick. Because I made one with Nami as well. I can always just download that one. Hold on a second. Give me, give me two clicks here, guys. Give me two clicks. Clicks should really be the unit of measurement that we use. It just sounds, but it has to be spelled K L I K S. Clicks. Let's just do clicks from now on. If you want a good French cartoon, check out Last Man. I don't know if I ever asked for a good French cartoon, but all right, sure, we'll rock that. Got Robin, we got Nami for the 200K, and we have Boa Hancock for the, uh, the 400K. So. The answer remains, you know, where do we go from here is the problem, you know? I mean, I'm guessing we could always go Shirahoshi next, but uh, that's only 500k. Do Ivankov for 500k. Ivankov is an option. Maybe I should wait until a million for Shirahoshi, because she's like the biggest, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. Uh, yeah. Carrot for 500k, Rebecca, Big Mom. Big Mom might be a million. We could do Big Mom for a million. Alright. I wish the internet ran on your hopes and dreams. Because then we would be okay. You know, just like, I want teching to stream and that will somehow fuel my internet. Then we should be good, right? Uh, I'm gonna keep this away from my mouth because of the dildo design. Uh, Raymer Football. Congrats, Thacking. Congrats. Thank you, Raymer. Raymar, sorry. Uh, please stream Black Clover. Yeah, okay, I'll go stream some Black Clover. Hey, everybody, let's watch some Black Clover episodes now. Screw copyright, right? I'm just gonna turn the channel into an anime streaming service. How come no one ever thought of that before? Seems like a pretty awesome thing to do. All right, well... So what I'm probably going to do here is, um, probably just edit all the little fragments of the stream together kind of Frankenstein it into the best stream I could possibly get, and then upload that as a full thing. Maybe do a redo at some point. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Do a video about Clo Black Clover then. Yes! Someday. Um, let's see here. Tomura Bonkai. 
Um, it's all for one. You're the best around. No one's ever going to keep... Well, now, nah, there's plenty of things that can keep me down. Bad internet for one. Um, a muscular bicycle guy with a chain wrapped around a boulder, wrapped around an anvil. That's something that could keep me significantly down. Um, a meteor about to crash into the planet. That's something that would definitely keep me down. Tyrannosaurus Rex, Triceratops, pretty much any dinosaur. Any dinosaur that's taller than my kneecaps could probably keep me down. Yeah. <laughs> Teching voices Orochi. I can voice Orochi from One Piece, and I could also voice Orochi from One Punch Man. And it would be the same voice. Be like, Guru, Guru. Wait, I'm oh, oh, sorry. <clears throat> Guru Guru, where is that man, the Saitama? I will defeat him, for I am Monster King Orochi! <laughs> where are you at, Goro? I am the Supreme Fighter! Bonnie for 500k, quite possibly. Bonnie for 500k would be a good option, yeah. Congratulations, Matt, on getting 400k. Thank you. Thank you all. Please make video of guild arts. Uh, nah, probably. Oh, you mean Shanks? Yeah, I can do a video on Shanks. For the King of Cringe. Thank you, Vixen Mustang. Try putting on your internet in rice. Ah, I never tried that. So, random question. If you could be a female character in One Piece, which would you choose other than that? Congratulations on 400k. Also recently started One Piece again. Forgot Nami had normal boobs. Yeah, you know, it depends on what version you're watching. Because I think if you watch Episode of East Blue, which goes back to the original arcs. Thanks, Artie Dami, for the 10. Um, she, I think they still busted her up just a little bit. I don't know. If, if it'd be a, what was the, it'd be a female of anyone in One Piece? I mean, like, pretty much anyone has the same basic body type. I mean, Nami would probably be the go-to, but Robin, you know... You know, they, they all have the same basic gist. I mean, look, look, look. All right, every guy, and I'm assuming every girl, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not a girl myself, so I don't know this. But, you know, you always have that point where you wonder, like, what would it be like to be that other person for a day or something? And when, when by, and by be that other person, uh, of course, what I'm translating that out to is, what would it be like to masturbate in that person's body for a day? We've, we've all been there, okay? We've all been there, right? So, yeah, I mean, like, the difference is with me is if I could, like, magically turn into Nami, what I would do is film it for an entire 24 hours and then sell the tapes later and then make money off of it. So that's, you have to be pragmatic about this, okay? You gotta, you gotta plan this out appropriately. So it's like, if you wake up and you're in a hot girl, you're in Nami's body, you'd be like, okay, I got, like, like, a magical genie appears over you and, like, you have 24 hours. You're like, oh, shit. I need to grab the lube, and I need to grab the camera, and I need to get to work, because I don't have a lot of time here. <laughs> I could potentially make millions off this, but I don't have to make- I have to get working early, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, that's- that's the plan. That's the plan, anyway. Not- not a genie, just law. Yeah, that too. What would I do a video on Gon Killua Karapi? I need to do more Hunter Hunter videos. I bought a new wall scroll for Hunter Hunter. I, I have it. When when are you going to do a Fisher Tiger video? Whenever I feel like the time is right. So basically, whenever I go fishing and I see a tiger in rural Pennsylvania fishing, I'd be like. I think somebody's trying to tell me something. I think it's about time to do a video. Hey guys, how you doing? Teching here. Well, I was fishing this morning with my dad and we saw a Burme uh, we saw a, a, a Siberian tiger just appear at the creek and fish for fish. And we thought, all right, I think it's time we talk about Ivankov. You know what I mean? <laughs> Leorio is the best. Well, that's obvious. That's obvious. Karapika is too much of a clone of Sasuke. Yeah, actually, I, I looked into this. I think Hunter Hunter did start right after, because the similarities between Karapika and Sasuke are like spot on. Like they're ridiculously similar. You know, they have eyes that turn red. Their entire clans were wiped out. They don't have the brother thing going on, but I mean, there's a lot of other similarities. Too many similarities to count. But I think the weird thing is. 
I think Hunter Hunter and Naruto came out not too far. Like, I think Hunter Hunter came out after Naruto, but it wasn't very much long after Naruto. Hunter Hunter began serialization on March 16th, 1998. And Naruto began serialization in September 21st, 19... Wait, what? It says, oh, the okay, well, okay, this is interesting. So, the pilot chapter of the manga, 1997. The actual manga itself, September 21st, 99. So, technically, Kurapika, Sasuke is a, is a ripoff of Kurapika! Because I never read the pilot chapter of Naruto, but I highly doubt the pilot chapter of Naruto includes everything involving the Sharingan and Sasuke's backstory. Probably doesn't. Huh. The plot thickens. I need to maybe do a video. That could be my video. That, there it is. I got my Hunter Hunter poster. I could get a thumbnail of Karapika and Sasuke looking at each other, and I'd be like, all right, who ripped off who? You know? Oh. They all rip off Vegeta. Yeah, but could Vegeta... Does Vegeta have red eyes when he gets angry? Can Vegeta steal other people's abilities with his eyes? No. Oh. But yeah, if Naruto wasn't... Be if, if Naruto wasn't published... And keep in mind, we don't find out about Sasuke's, like, backstory. Like, when did we find out his... I, okay, I think we found out rather early on, like, in the first, like, five or six chapters that his, his family was wiped out, right? We find that out. We don't get to see the Sharingan until Kakashi fights against Zabuza, and that's, like... That's, like, what, like, 15 chapters in or something? And then later in that arc, Sasuke gets it. Yeah. Yeah, Sasuke didn't it exist at first. Okay, so that means, yeah, that's defin- Okay, Karapika was first then. If, 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 if Sasuke and his backstory were not present in the pilot chapter of Naruto in 1997, then in 1998, when Tagashi wrote Hunter x Hunter, because Karapika is like chapter one of Hunter x Hunter. Okay, and his, like, maybe not chapter one, maybe chapter two, but you know what, like, he's, like, first arc, Hunter Hunter, he's got, he explains everything, he's got the red eyes, he, death of his clan, like, this is all explained within, like, the first, I say, you know, 10, 15 chapters of Hunter Hunter in, in early 98, and then in late 99, in September 99, Naruto comes out, so, I don't see another way around this, Karapika was first. We, uh, yeah, I know we, we, we don't find out Sasuke's backstory in a wider scope. We don't actually get that flashback until later, but as for, I think, because when Sasuke was introducing himself to Kakashi and Naruto and Sakura, he was all brooding, and wasn't he kind of just like, I'm gonna find someone, I will avenge my clan, or something like that. Like, he hinted at his clan was wiped out. I believe that was definitely stated before the Valley of the End fight. We finally got the, the the flashback during then, but it was already established long before that, that his family was wiped out. Karapika's best waifu. I agree. I agree with that statement. All right, let's go through some super chats. Um, I answered that one. Um... Okay, I'm watching your Class S series, and I'm confused on the difference between webcomics and the other website you mentioned, and why is webcomics drawing so shitty? Well, that's just the way one draws. You get used to it after a while. It's not the best, but it's one of those things. You just get used to it. At least I did. Um, you know, and the story is what really matters. So, um, yeah, the webcomic is what one drew first. And then Murata came in contact with one, and he's like, I want to draw One Punch Man in my style, and he did Eye Shield 21, and Murata is like, a, Murata is a great artist. I, I always want to say Murata. Murata. It's Murata. 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 But he's a way better artist, and so him and one kind of teamed up, and one sort of gives him, like, notes on, like, you know, things that he didn't include in the first run for Murata to do later. So that's why there's a difference. 
like the whole fighting tournament and uh, Sui Ryu and everything, Sui Ryu and everybody in the um, the tournament right now, they don't exist in the original webcomic, but one drew up drafts for them and gave them over to Murata. There you go. Um, I don't even mind the art. It makes me want to write and get better. Honestly, yeah, like, at the very beginning, the artwork in the webcomic is a step above grade school. Like, I, I could probably do it, and that's scary. Um, but after a while, it gets a little bit better. Still crude, but better. But once again, you're not really paying attention to the artwork after a while. You just get accustomed to it, and you just worry about the story. What computer system are you running? I might be able to build you and donate you a more powerful system. Oh, it's not the computer that's the problem. The computer is good. It's a cyber power. It, I, I don't know computers, but it's good, trust me. And it's not that's not the problem. Yeah. Don't blame YouTube. Don't blame my computer. Don't blame... Don't blame... The, it's, it's the internet. That's just what it comes down to, is it's the internet. It's a pretty simple problem, really. My super chat wanted to say... Yeah, I'll, I'll check out the super chats now. Yeah. How bad is your internet? Fairly bad. Last few days, it's been pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, and the Super Chats didn't get... Oh, that's alright. I got them all saved on my Master thing. It's all good. I have a special place where I keep all my Super Chats. Where they all are sticking around. Uh, the last few days, I've actually have to... Um, I had to drive all the way up to my university the last two days to upload videos because my internet here is so bad. Uh, it would have taken like that. That One Punch Man video I uploaded last night, it was like 35 minutes long. That would have taken like seven, eight hours here. Like not even shitting you. It would have taken that long. It took 20 minutes up at the college. Damn checking, this is bad. I mean, I mean, you know, honestly, I could just end it and... You go to university. I did. I graduated, but I still live close to it. I could still go in and mooch off their Wi-Fi. Um, mostly, I can just end the stream, either upload what I have, or I could just do it again. I mean, it's not like I have to... It's like, I, I have to do the 400k sub stream the same day I hit 400k subs, or else just, like... It just, 